I think Madrid being the grand finale for the seven series is a real winner because if we're honest and, and real about growing the game of, of rugby sevens and rugby in general, we've got to get into new markets and Madrid definitely ticks that box. As much as they've had a competitive men's and women's sevens team for a number of years, it's the opportunity for all of the crowd here to um, watch um, their national team, but also expats from all over the world being able to come and support their home nation as well. Lots of Argentinians, there's a few Irish in the crowd. Funny that there's Irish everywhere in the world. Um, but, um, but really about the Spanish uh, contingent um, here in Madrid and further afield being able to come and get a sense about what incredible athletes these Rugby Sevens players are and what they're going to witness later on in the summer in the Olympics. So, um, yeah, it's been a tremendous weekend and can't wait to see the future development of the Madrid Sevens. That's Metropolitano uh, Stadium here where Atletico Madrid play is, first of all, sensational. Um, it's a perfect backdrop for um, these incredible athletes to do their best and to entertain the crowd uh, that have flocked here um, and are outside in some of um, the entertainment spots of beach rugby and swimming pools. Don't know if I'll be getting into that one though. Um, and just fancy dress. So I think they're totally embracing what Sevens is all about here in Spain and ably fitted by a huge Argentinian contingent that are roaring with every score, every tackle of their men and women's teams when they're performing out here. So it definitely feels as though um, we've got a real winning location on our hands and can't wait for uh, future years in Madrid. Yeah.